You're watching an Antares rocket lift off from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia in the recent mission to deliver supplies to the International Space Station. Hitching a ride, a Space and Missile Defense Command satellite the size of a loaf of bread. Right now, it's circling the Earth in low Earth orbit, some 300 miles out. It's part of the Gunsmoke project. As to what this satellite is actually doing... I, I can't say... Rebecca Nagurney is the deputy program manager for Gunsmoke. I ask her again what the satellites, referred to as sensors, are actually supposed to sense. Well, we can't get into the specifics of the data that we're going to retrieve from these systems. She can say that whatever is learned from the classified project will be helping men and women already in harm's way. It'll make them more confident in the work they do, knowing that they're protected and that their lives are going to be saved. Gunsmoke is just the latest of SMDCs, so-called small sats or CubeSats. Kestrel I was an imaging satellite we first told you about a few years ago. It was about the size of a home mailbox and also caught a ride to space. It, too, did its work in low Earth orbit. Kestrel I and Gunsmoke, both with a definite mission that isn't classified. It laid the groundwork for future space-based technologies and capabilities that can provide protection for the tactical army warfighter. Yeah, the boots on the ground who love having help from space, the help once again with a basic purpose. Yes, it will work to save warfighters' lives. Steve Johnson, News 19.